Sovereign gold bonds are government securities denominated in grams of gold with a basic unit of 1 gram. Each bond represents a certain amount of gold, providing investors with a convenient and a secure way to own gold without the need for physical possession. The issuance of SGBs is undertaken by the Reserve Bank of India on behalf of the Government of India. This makes them sovereign-backed instruments, making them a secure investment for investors. That's why finance pros treat them as a more dependable alternative to the possession of physical gold. The bonds mirror the value of 1 gram of gold and are released in batches known as tranches on specific dates during the year. For the financial year 2023-24, the Reserve Bank of India planned four batches called tranches of sovereign gold bonds, out of which the window to apply for three has already passed. The Series 4, however, is scheduled to open from 12th to 16th February in 2024. The pricing of sovereign gold bonds is determined by the average closing price of gold with 999 purity over the previous three business days from the day of repayment. Sovereign gold bonds or SGBs are open for purchase to any residents of India, extending eligibility to Hindu undivided families, trusts, universities, charitable institutes and joint holdings. Additionally, guardians have the privilege to apply for SGBs in the name of a minor. Investors can purchase SGBs from participating banks, Stock Holding Corporation of India, Clearing Corporation of India, Designated Post Offices, the National Stock Exchange and the Bombay Stock Exchange. The maximum subscription limit for individuals and Hindu undivided families is 4 kg, while trusts have a limit of 20 kg. SGBs not only provide potential gains from prevailing gold prices, but also ensure a fixed 1.25% return paid twice a year based on the initial investment. The maturity period for the gold bonds is 8 years. It also has the option for premature redemption after the fifth year. Investors can exercise this option on the date of interest payment according to the Ministry of Finance. While the interest earned on SGBs is taxable, individual capital gains tax upon redemption is exempted offering a tax advantage over physical gold. SGBs are also tradable on stock exchanges, providing liquidity to investors who may choose to exit before maturity. Additionally, investors can convert their physical SGB certificates into a DMAT form for ease of handling. According to a report by Value Research, till November 2023, RBI has issued 65 tranches of SGBs, collecting a staggering 56,762 crore rupees worth of investments. Sovereign gold bonds contribute to the government's efforts to mobilize household savings, reduce the demand for physical gold, and promote financial inclusion. Investors benefit from the dual advantage of potential capital appreciation linked to gold prices and fixed interest income, making SGBs an attractive investment option for those seeking exposure to gold in a convenient form. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.